have you ever seen a child begin engaging in a tantrum that seemed random and wondered why it's happening or what we can do to address it? It may not be apparent in the moment, but all behavior serves a purpose. In this episode of Behavior Nation's Caregiver Education video series, we will cover the ABCs of ABA, the functions of behavior, collecting ABC data, and some examples of ABCs. First, let's define ABCs. ABCs allow us to see how behavior may be caused by the environment and how future behavior can be affected by consequences. Behavior is anything that can be measured or observed with the naked eye. Antecedent is what was happening immediately before the behavior. And the consequence is what happened immediately after the behavior. Let's break down an example. Johnny was watching his favorite television show and mom told him it was time to turn it off and get ready for bed. Johnny began crying, stomped his feet and fell to the floor. Mother stated, fine, you can keep watching and went into the other room. What are the ABCs in this scenario? Let's take a look. Some common questions to think about when looking for the antecedent of the behavior are, who was present? What were others doing just prior to the behavior? What kind of demand was placed on the learner or what activity were they doing? In our example, the antecedent would be Johnny watching his favorite television show and mom telling him it was time to turn it off and get ready for bed. Behavior is anything that we can measure and observe. We cannot say emotional states such as sad or mad are behaviors because these are feelings and cannot be observed. However, we can state things like his arms were crossed or she began crying. Going back to our example, Johnny's behavior is crying, stomping his feet and falling to the floor. Some things to consider when looking at the consequence are how others reacted to the behavior and if the individual stopped or increased after their reaction. You might also want to think about what the individual is gaining from that behavior. Let's go back to Johnny. The consequence of his behavior was his mother walked out of the room and let him continue to watch his favorite show. Remember, all behaviors have a communicative intent. This means the individual who is engaging in the behavior is trying to tell us something. For example, Johnny was trying to communicate to his mother that he wanted to continue watching TV. In order to understand the intent of communication, we first need to understand the functions of behavior. There are four functions of behavior. First, escape avoidance means the individual is trying to get out of or avoid doing something. Attention is receiving social reinforcement from interacting with others. Tangibles are all about gaining access to something. Lastly, sensory or automatic is the individual is engaging in the behavior because it feels good. We have a separate video that dives deeper into the functions of behavior. Click the link in the description to watch that video. Now that we understand the ABCs, let's look at how we can determine the functions of behavior by collecting ABC data. By collecting ABC data, we can understand the patterns in the antecedent and the consequences to determine the function of behavior. By doing this, we can alter our environment to decrease future behavior and teach new skills. One thing to be sure of when collecting ABC data is to be as objective as possible. One way to be objective is to write ABC data in a way that someone who has not observed the behavior can understand what happened just by reading ABC data. So now that we are experts in understanding ABCs, let's practice. Mother was in the kitchen making dinner when Julia asked if she could have a cookie. Her mother stated, not until after dinner. 
Julia began shouting, give me cookie now. Mother gave Julia the cookie. Now, take some time to think about how you would break down the ABCs in this example and pause if needed. You may pause the video now. Okay, let's check to see if you got it correct. Your antecedent would be when Julia asks mom for a cookie, mother states not until after dinner. Your behavior is Julia shouting, give me cookie now. Your consequence is mother giving Julia the cookie. Let's do one more example. Katie's mother was talking to her friend on the phone. Katie began throwing her toys across the room. Her mother shouted, no throwing Katie. Katie continued to throw the toys. Click the pause button on the video, try this exercise and resume when you are ready. Katie's mother talking on the phone is the antecedent. Katie throwing her toys across the room is the behavior and the consequence is mother shouts, no throwing Katie and Katie continues to throw the toys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions, email us at info at behaviornation.com or call us at 844-262-8466.